If supplied with a pipe layout diagram, make a note of how to position the plates. Alternatively refer to the installation manual provided. Fix a suitable batten to either side of the joist. Place a rigid insulation board onto the batten such as Kingspan or Celotex. This needs to be a minimum of 50 mm thick. While laying the plates and pipe, it will be necessary to walk across them. Use crawl boards in high foot traffic areas. Place a spreader plate onto the joists. Ensure you leave a minimum of 250 mm from the wall to allow notches to be cut in the joists. Spreader plates require a 5 mm gap between the ends and edges. At no point must they overlap. In areas where there are no requirements for underfloor heating pipework, fill the joists with insulation boards. Read the floor plan layout and check the joist layout on site. Joists may need to be notched to complete the circuits. In the areas where the pipe is not secured in the spreader plates, use cable clips and staples. Ensure the floor is free from debris before installing the pipe. It's important to check all grooves so pipes aren't damaged during installation. Ensure the curve radius doesn't cause excessive bending or kinking. Do not allow kinks to form in the pipes. Upon completion of the underfloor heating pipe circuits, ensure the pipe work is pressure tested. Engineered and laminate floors may be applied direct to the finished structural chipboard or plywood. Fast warm spreader plates make installing underfloor heating in a joisted floor easy. For more information, call us today.